Now that we've built our fantastic HTML-based app, our next challenge is to get it onto the app stores. And as always, there's a number of ways to do this, but the simplest and quickest is to use a service called PhoneGap Build. And we can find this at build.phonegap.com. Now PhoneGap was a system to package HTML-based apps in a format that could be submitted to the major app stores. It was then purchased by Adobe and rebranded Cordova. And as well as allowing your app to go on the app stores, it also allows you to use plugins to access deeper aspects of the device's functionality, like the accelerometer or the GPS or the microphone. So if you want to do things like that, then have a Google for Cordova plugins and see what else there is available. We're going to be focused here, though, on getting our app in the app stores as quickly as possible. So quickly scrolling down here, again, feel free to pause and have a read if you want to know more about PhoneGap Build. But we're going to be focusing on the free plan here that allows you to have one app with a maximum size of 50 megabytes. And you can use all the major Cordova plugins. Not that we're going to be actively using any of those today. So click the completely free button. And then you'll need an Adobe ID. So I'll pretend that I don't have one. And sign up for one. I'll use rob at codestars.com and then I'll just put in a random password and then agree to the terms of use. And that will then sign us up and take us through to the apps page. And you can see we've got the option to import from GitHub or upload a zip file and we're going to do the latter. So here are my files. I've just got one index file and then I've got the CSS and JS and Zepto.js as well. So I'm going to right click on those and compress for items. And I'll just rename that app.zip. Okay, and then let's click upload a zip and then we should be able to find it in mobile apps and there it is. So that will then upload the file for you and prepare it. And I'll call it Rob's email client. Pretty simple and then click ready to build. It will then start producing the various files to deploy for different platforms. So here you can see the Windows Phone version has already completed so I can actually download that straight away and run it on my Windows phone. Now I can do the same with Android as well so that will download an Android file that I will be able to run on my Android phone. It's an APK so if you've used those before they're actually pretty easy to install on your phone. iOS however is a little bit more complicated. You don't just get a nice simple download for iOS, you need to do a little bit of work. And in fact, for each of these, you will need to do something called signing if you want to submit them to an app store. And signing is essentially the process of proving ownership of your app so that you can submit updates and generally control the app later on. That process is not trivial for either of the two major app stores, so I'm going to show you how to do it in the next two videos. We'll start with Android, and then I'll show you how to set up your keys and signature files for iOS. And at the end of that, you'll have something that you could completely submit to Google Play or the App Store.